Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an ultimate declutter organization KonMari experience. I was so over how my bedroom looked. Oh, by the way, we have a little little bud in the background. Hey, hi, Mr. Poof. Um, anyway, I was so over how the bedroom was just full of crap and so was Matt, my boyfriend. We were just like over it. We needed a change. We needed to clean it up. And so this process started about three-ish months ago and I will say I got the majority of it done within the first week, all right? The problem was the finishing touches. I didn't want to show you guys the end until I actually had it completed. So a couple months went by and then this week I finally decided to get it done, finish it up, and make it look complete. So I think we're there. I think the only thing that I would change is my bedspread. Um, I want to get a white duvet cover, but other than that, I think we are completely done. So let's jump into the video. Hey guys, so today is going to be the day where I try really, really hard to organize my room and my desk because I'm just, I'm sick of how the bedroom is cluttered. I hate it. I want it to be organized and I just feel like there are a few things I can do to minimize the situation. So let me show you kind of what we're working with. So for starters, I'm sitting on the bed now. So this is like watching TV. And then over there, you've got this DVD stand all like jammed under the side of the TV. Um, and then we have this little file cabinet type thing with CDs in the back and like little Star Trek things and rocks and candles and whatever, random stuff. And then... Let me move the step stool. We've got this drawer, which is currently our cord drawer, which isn't that bad, honestly, because we sorted through the cords and um, put them in baggies so they have different um, sections, except for this random pile that we have started tossing on top. <laughs> anyway, and then over here we have a mirror jammed in the corner with a piano and a humidifier. And then here's the bed area and then this mega desk, which we used to have this in our extra bedroom, but then we got a roommate, so we moved it in here and we don't use it as a desk hardly at all. Like I'll use it sometimes, Matt never uses it. And so it's just this giant thing that's collecting stuff. And this is like clean for us. This is really, really clean what it currently looks like. but. The plan is to take everything out of the desk and find a new place for it because we want to move this desk down to the warehouse. Um, Matt's dad runs an auction warehouse and we used to have this huge table in there that we would use to work on when we were there, but the table got sold. So we don't really have anything like a place to work at. So we were thinking, to free up some space in the bedroom, we can move the desk down there, but we can't do that until we find a new place for everything that the desk currently holds. So that will be the mission today. Um, I think I'm just gonna do an official uh, cone Mari method and just chuck everything on the bed just so I can get a visual on the situation. So let's get going.
Okay, so I think we have almost everything laid out. I just had Matt pull down um, this box of games and stuff. I think there's movies in there though, so I gotta dig all that out. But this is our mega pile. It's a little ridiculous, honestly. But the desk is empty. Um, I'm not gonna move that music stuff without Matt's approval, so that's just gonna sit there to the end. But this is all the stuff from inside the desk. So now we begin. Oh, also, I just ordered this mega CD case thing. It holds 400 discs, so I think I'm gonna start with that because that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna unbox all of my movies and put them all in the case so that I can throw away all the movie cases because I don't care about them at all. So, let's do it. I'm exhausted. I've been putting CDs in the CD case for an hour and a half. And now I have to pick up my mess. There's this pile all over the ground in front of me. I started putting it in a trash bag, but I'm going to need like five of these. And I have a bunch in that box up there. Oh, I'm losing hope. I'm losing motivation. Okay, day one has come to an end. I'm exhausted. We have four trash bags full of just DVD boxes <laughs> and some other random stuff. Actually, one of them has mostly trash from the other bit. We have multiple donation bins going on, donation stuff there donation stuff right there and here is what's left to go through so we quickly did a once-over of all of this stuff but ran out of time so I'll have to re-go through all of this tomorrow and try and figure out where we're gonna put it all so that's what's cooking alrighty guys it is day two of cleaning the bedroom and I think I'm changing tactics. I don't want to put all of this back on the bed. Um, just because like, I'm not totally sure what to do with all of it. So I think I'm going to go one box at a time and try and do it that way so that I don't wreck the room again in case I can't get through all of it. So um, I think I'm going to start with all the games because Matt and I talked this over yesterday and we decided we're going to try and put it on the bookshelf because there is space if I move all my art stuff out, which I've been meaning to do anyway because I have a space at the warehouse for all my art stuff. So from here all the way through here is my art stuff. Um, so I can move all of that to the warehouse, which gives us a whole area um, for games. And then what else? I think if we just rearrange some of the gaps in the levels we'll have plenty of space for all his game stuff now matt's very particular about our bookshelf um i don't know if you guys saw the vlog about getting the bookshelf i'll link it above but i learned a whole lot about matt when we got the bookshelf so uh check that out if you want to be slightly amused <laughs> all right well i'm thinking yes that's where i'm going to start so let me set you guys up and we will get to it.
they're all on there, but I'm guessing Matt's going to want to reorganize it because it probably doesn't look the way he wants, but they're on there. So I'm moving on to the next task. So let's go decide which box we're going to do. Look at the little wampus back there. Oh, little floof. Alrighty. What box? What box? I don't know. I don't want to deal with any of them. Is that okay? So I cleared out this little area in our um, little, whatever this is called, TV stand area. And I have all of these boxes of cords and gaming stuff. And so I'm thinking, because this is all gaming stuff, like all Nintendo stuff, I'm going to try and put all the Xbox controllers in there and PlayStation controllers in here. So all the controllers are all like right in this area. Um, and then I'll try and organize the cords a little bit. I, they're not going to go in here, but I figured I would go through it all at once. Zaboomba, are you helping? Wow, thank you. Isn't he just precious? <laughs> what a perfect boy. He's so helpful. So the next order of business is to find these guys a home. And I'm thinking that empty drawer is going to be where they're going. So I'm going to go put them back there. All right. Cords locked and loaded. Now, what to do next? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, what do we've got? We've got papers personal items okay this one okay let's do this because that's all that's left personal items okay progress is being made and I figured out how to reorganize um, I kept telling Matt that I wanted to get rid of this and that and he was like okay well where are we gonna put the Xbox um, and I figured it out Matt has been wanting to take the dresser out of the closet because he thinks it's really cramped in here which it is but it took a lot of work to get it in there in the first place so I didn't really want to take it back out um, but the dresser will fit perfectly under the TV what is he doing I don't think that's for you <laughs> what I was doing nothing Okay, um, what was I saying? Anyway, the dresser will fit under there perfectly, so then we can have something to set the gaming consoles on, and the dresser will be out here like Matt wants, the closet will have more space, and I think it'll be great, and I can get rid of those things like I want. So, <sighs> I'm gonna keep on organizing what I have, and then I think this afternoon I will move the dresser back out. Oh, okay. Last minute morning update before I have to head out and take a break. Here's what we have left. Not too bad, honestly. So this is a box of stuff that's going to go into an auction. We've got some books, a camera, yarn, random stuff in here. So this is all going to auction. And let's see, this is a box of office stuff. I'm not sure what Matt will want to do with this. So I'm just going to let him decide, but yeah. And then some random stuff over here I need to find places for. And then all of this, this is like sentimentals that need to go back in our sentimental boxes. And then, that's just a random towel. But yeah. Oh, and then this huge thing of pens and markers and things. We need to figure out what to do with that. But um, closing in on being done. And also, I moved out those two... Um, things that I want to get rid of out there so we can sell those and I will move the dresser when we come back. So that is it for the morning. Shoo in a flash. And I'm back many days later to show you the room progress. So we got the dresser moved out here and the desk moved out. It is totally gone. It is out of the apartment 
and at the warehouse now. So let me show you what we're working with. Alrighty, so last you saw there was an empty space here, but now we have the dresser out here and we moved the desk stuff onto the dresser uh, because we have new desk. Look at that, it's just gone. So what we're thinking is setting this area up as Matt's music studio area. So I have been scheming all morning because I've been looking at all the different things we could do with all of this stuff to set it up really nice. And the conclusion that I've come to, and this is kind of Matt's thing, is what he wants would be like a custom studio build, which is a little pricey. Um, we could do it ourselves for sure. It would just be a lot of work and we don't exactly have the right tools to do it. So I think we're going to find like a way to make it look okay in the meantime, but not like exactly how he wants. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what we've done, what the plan is, and where we're going. So that's the situation as it stands now. I will keep you updated as things progress. Alrighty guys, so that is the completed room. I'm so glad that it's finally finished. Uh, it turned out really great. I love the little studio area. So what I ended up doing was taking one of our folding tables and building a wooden structure to make it look a little nicer. And then I also spray painted the legs, which, oh my God, look at him. <laughs> You're just chasing his tail like a crazy person. Get it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay. So I found this tutorial for like fancying up a folding table. Wow. My hair looks crazy. Um, which I will link below because I did not make a video about making that table since it was already a tutorial out in the world. Um, I think it was like a Buzzfeed nifty something. I think that was the channel. Anyway, I'll look it up and I'll link it below. Oh my goodness, he's acting like a crazy person. Are you good? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so that's where, <laughs> I'm never gonna get through this. Uh, so that's where I got, oh, one moment. He's just going to join me for the end of this video since he's being a nasty boy. Are you being a nasty boy? Um, anyway. So as I said, I will link that video below. Um, I did a couple things different. I never actually glued the wood to the table. I used little um, brackets and screwed all the wood pieces together so I could take it on and off the folding table. But other than that, I followed the, um, the video exactly. Um, so yeah, if you wanna do that, there's that. And then I also added the shelf on top. Um, Where are you going? And away he goes. Um, yeah, I added the shelf on top for the speakers, and that's about it. It was a pretty quick project, a lot of sanding, because I got budget wood, so <laughs> a lot of sanding, but it turned out really, really nice. The rest of the room you guys already saw, I moved the dresser out here, and 
we moved that big desk down to the warehouse. So it's out of here. But yeah, I feel a lot more organized. Things are feeling purged very nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am always going to be decluttering and cleaning things. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.